Hey y'all, uh, it's Jay the Haitian over here, here with another video for you guys. But this video, I am going to show you guys how to create an autoresponder for your Gmail account. Um, this is very helpful when it comes to promoting your opportunities, when you are trying to set up some type of automation, so that way you don't have to worry about having to check your emails and respond to them manually. This way, you can just do it like this and continuously send out your emails automatic so let me go ahead and dive into it and we'll go ahead and get started So first thing I want to do is go to my account that actually has this already set up. So the program that I use for mine on Gmail is called Canned Responses. It's, it's a program that's built into the actual Google account. So um, it's everybody should basically have it. The only, the only the way to enable it is by going here, go to your email of course first and foremost. Um, but let me show you this example right here. This is an example of what I, that was recently sent out today. So I got an email, and the, to the title, the label is subject rather, three hundred dollars a day, right? And every time once I got that, this was sent out automatically, okay? And you see, this is the canned response that it was sent through, okay? So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually access canned responses and how to set them up. So now what you would do, you would come through here, you go to settings, okay? Then you would come down and go to advanced. So as you can see, mine is already enabled. If yours is not enabled, go ahead and click enable. Okay, and it tells you can create a template, templated response by saving common messages using a button and compose toolbar. Okay, so basically you can send out automatically. So let me go ahead and show you an example. I can do this again from another email account, so you guys can get the idea of how that works, and then I'll show you guys how to set it up. So. I'm going to go ahead and bring my phone up, show you what I was going to show you guys. I'm going to go to my email, and with this can response that I have right now, it's currently set up to where it does 300, or it responds to uh, $300 a day subject. So if anybody sends me an email, and it says $300 a day, this is the email you're going to get from me. So I'm going to do this right here. Oh, well, you gotta do the email first. Email subject a day interested in $300 a day. Alright. Go ahead and send that. It says sent. It's gonna come here. Look at this. This is gonna come through here. Go ahead and refresh that. You can see it shows up right here, and it also showed up in my other Gmail. And just like that, just that's quick, it sent the email off already. See that? And this is the email I just sent, and that's what I got back. Just like that, it works just that simple. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. So what I'll do. Is you come down here to the corner, click on your settings tab, go to settings. Now, there's a few um, ways you really can do this. If you first thing, what we'll do is you can go to your filters. And these are the filters that I currently have. You can create a new filter, but these ones that I currently have. Let's go ahead and go to this one again. And if we click on edit, this one it, it only responds to what the words actually have to have in them. So it could either be the subject, or it could have the words inside the actual email itself. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to make it, um, you don't have to have to make it very specific as far as like all the different type of things that have to happen in the email. So what will happen once it actually finds that email, it will mark it as red, and put it into, and label it as label rewards, level rewards leads, and then it'll go to that folder. 
okay? And of course, you could always forward it, delete it, never send it to spam, and then of course, send the can response. Now, the can response is automatically going to work with this one. So, actually, I'm going to leave that one alone. And then what we'll do is to create a can response, you come here, go to your compose, on that. Go to your compose. Then, what you would do is you would go to, okay, go to. You can type in a t uh, two email address if you want to, uh, but create a subject for sure. So if you want to create a subject, you put uh, make money online, right? Here is my app to make money online. Click here. Boom, right? And put your link here. So then what I would do is you come down here, right? And you see you click those three dots. Then you go scroll up to can responses and you would create a new can response. And if you want to make it one of these, then you can do that. Um, but if you don't already have one that's already set up, then you go ahead and create a new can response. Click on that, then give it a name. So once you give it a name, you come up here, and you can actually leave it like that. So go ahead and minimize that right quick. Okay, so make sure that you refresh your email. Once you do that, it'll actually pop up. So what I'm going to do is create the canned response, or the filter for the canned response. Go back to your settings, then you go to filters and block addresses. Then we'll come here and create a new filter. Now, as we want to make sure it has the words make money online subject as well and like I said you can have this to be anything that you want it to be then you create the filter and then you could also what you do is mark it as red you can apply it to a label so right now we don't have one but we can oh I actually created one so put a make money online then you come here you send a can response and that would be the make money online response right and once you see all of this, and you can also apply it to the ones that's already currently in your um, in your inbox, but I want to use it rather for the ones that are coming in brand new. So then create create filter. Filter was created at the bottom, and that's it. And now you'll see this is what they will what your filter will consist of. So remember that every time you create a new can response and it's not showing up automatically to make a to make a filter for it, go ahead and um, refresh your inbox and you should be able to see it. So now what we'll do you can actually go to your inbox and scroll you'll see it got the folder right here which is the label rather um, then we can test it out. Okay let's go back to that email we did have originally let's go ahead and create another one and this one will have it saying of course make money online sent it to Jay Nice make money online and this will be, for an example, what any, if you have specific text that you want in your email to be sent out, this is what, of course, would be sent. So now we wait for this one to come in, and we wait for this to show up here. As you can see, that showed up right there, and it showed up in my email. So let's go ahead and click here, and there's the email right there. Same thing here, it gave it the label, and it had included what I already sent, wanted to send it. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what you can use as well, and you can use it for your, it's basically for autoresponding. Um, this would be perfect for it. Now, if you want them to respond to, with another type of wording, you can literally have your conversation. You can try it out, test it out, what you see, what you guys think, how you can work it out for yourselves. And if you have any questions for me, just leave some at the bottom of the video. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like if you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, y'all have a beautiful day.